Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Wait, wait, Betty, can you come down? You're not supposed to be out there. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. Everybody. Excellent. Okay. All right. Hey, hi. It's me, Rebecca. Uh, this is my friend Frank Cayetti, and he is an actor and a writer and a, a, sa a sad, right? Which is what they call stay-at-home dad. I didn't know that. S a h d. I didn't know that. Sad. That's kind of <laughs> it's terrible. That that doesn't make me feel as great about myself. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, but he uh, uh, has a daughter who will turn one in six, seven weeks, and you can hear her. And uh, this is part seven of my six-part series on totally honest interviews with parents. Uh, so I'm just going to ask Frank questions. And normally I let everyone know what these questions are beforehand. I'm surprising Frank with all of these. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> so, uh, all right, so you got into this knowing full well I'm going to be at home with her majority of the time. Yes, but I will say this. There was a reality that kicked in when it actually happened, <laughs> uh -huh. which was sobering. Right. Um, because Rachel was, we were very lucky that she got a pretty extended uh, paid family leave and all that stuff. And then, California. And her work, yeah. And her work allowed her at the time to stay home a couple extra months so she would work from home, but she would be here. If you needed her. So, yes. And that was... Like, Frank easier. hasn't showered in a while. No. Oh, yeah. There are, yeah, there are full days. <laughs> that is, that is sometimes that's the lowest priority. Oh, for, I, for sure. Yeah. No. I haven't showered, and my daughter's in school today, so that's no excuse <laughs> at all. Uh, so when you were little, did you watch Mr. Mom and think, someday, that's going to be me? I did watch Mr. Mom when I was little, and I actually love that movie. Yeah. But I didn't think that I would ever be Michael Keaton. Maybe in real life with his career. <laughs> yeah, maybe I was like, I love Michael Keaton as an actor. Yeah. But I don't know if I'd ever... But then, that's funny that you say that, because I wonder if there's like this subconscious thing that's like, I'm okay with this. It was also like, at that time, it was like kind of revolutionary to think, a dad at home? I know, isn't that funny? Yeah. Driving here, I saw a billboard for the movie, What to Expect When You're Expecting, and it's all men with urines on carrying their babies around. It's like but, the thing now. But even that is a comedy premise. It's not reality. Yeah, you're right. What if there if there was a show called Stay at Home Moms? <laughs> would that seem like a funny comedy? <laughs> Nobody premise? would watch that. No, it's but like yeah. it's still like this is these dads right. have to care for their children. You're right. It's still like the yes. It's still a unique scenario to. It is hilarious though, isn't it? Every day is hilarious. <laughs> you're a stay at home dad. Uh, I laugh. Yeah, I laugh. <laughs> okay. But then there are lots of things that are not at all hilarious about it. Such as? Just the reality of that. Basically, from the moment she wakes up, it's on. It I is know! a flurry of activity. Like, waking up slow just does not exist anymore. So it's just like, we're on our way. That's it's the hardest like, part breakfast, for me. Breakfast, diaper, what's happening next? Destruction of something. Don't yeah. kill yourself. <laughs> That kind You're of like, stuff. did I even have coffee yet? <laughs> uh, so it's, it's good though. I mean, I enjoy it, but it is a flurry of activity. It is amazing how much happens. <laughs> Do you have any advice for other men who are or are about to come become sads? I would say there's nothing, worrying about it isn't going to get you anything. I think nothing exactly will prepare you for how difficult it can be in times and how wonderful it can be at times. So I think if you're fretting about something that's going to happen in the future, it seems like it's kind of a waste of energy. So like prepare yourself, get information, but like there's also stuff like we tried to read, we took classes, you know, but like at the same time I wasn't like, oh yes, I recall in this class when I should this, you know, like I still, I feel like I tried to put information in my brain and be prepared, but at the same time no. Every day is going to be a challenge. Right. A great <laughs> Just challenge. Ripping farts. <laughs> you know. I hope the mic is picking that up. Uh, all right, Frank, you have 15 seconds to just rant about everything that's frustrating right now about being a parent. 
Uh, the inability to shower, the um, the constant worry between what she's going to be, what she gets into, and what she isn't supposed to touch, uh, and the the sometimes way it affects my sleep. Exactly fifteen seconds. All right, now you have exactly fifteen seconds to rant about everything that's so joyous about being at home with your daughter. Oh, every single time she smiles, every single time she laughs, every single time she looks at me. Every single time I get to touch her soft skin and watch her do nuts, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> it's the best! Alright, thank you so much Frank and Lucy and Betty for all being here. Frank, do you have a website? FrankCayetti.com? I do. Oh, you do? Alright, FrankCayetti.com. I think it's just basically a link to my MySpace. Um, That's current, right? Oh, everyone's on MySpace. <laughs> like, you want to give out your LinkedIn account? <laughs> um, if you want to catch me uh, or send me an email on my uh, yeah. netzero.com. <laughs> he has a pager. <laughs> um, so uh, you can see Frank okay. uh, on things sometimes. You can read his things sometimes. Uh -oh. And he just won best two-man show in the history of the world, I think. Yes. He's got a two-man show called Frank and Matt. Yes, frankandmatt.com is an actual website. All right, that exists. Yes. Uh, thanks for being with us. Thanks for being an awesome dad. Bye. Say bye.